this is John. Today I'm going to do a review of a drone and the drone is called the R11 Nimble. It's just came out. Looks a bit like a tell -all. Let's check it out. This comes in a beautiful nylon bag here. You open it up, I'll show you the drone first. Foam interior to wall everything. It's very small. Uh, that is the on off button comes with the name Nimble and yes it does look very familiar very familiar it has two they look like um, ultrasonic sensors but whether they are or not I don't know I know that's the antenna there and in here is the battery say that so it should give it a, a fair amount of flight time comes with uh, brushed motors a very small drone small profile it's got little rubber landing legs here protecting the lights that come on underneath and look at that we've got exposed wires there hopefully that not cause a problem what is nice about this drone is that you can it has a movable camera so it'll be what 22 degrees or something Maybe, maybe 32 so that's a nice touch it's supposed to be a 4k camera too we'll see how that works out excellent and that's the on off button there when you turn it on it's good this is great because then you can see this at night if it's flying it's got two little eyes at the front too Next is the controller. Does that controller look familiar to you? It looks just like the CSJX4 by Global and also the other one, what's that? The E68. They've both got the exact same controllers. Differences, buttons mean different things. See, these are the trim buttons on the, the E68, but this means uh, land and take off. Uh, trim forward, trim backwards, trim right, trim left. That is the on off button. Turn it around, you've got buttons on the back too. That's your different speed there slow, medium, and fast. That is to do a 360 flip. Nice. If you like doing that, <laughs> that is. That is. Uh, endless mode. That is. So that is the controller there and inside we have you know if you're just starting to learn how to fly I would definitely recommend putting these on in case you bump into something also has a little charger for the battery on board four props two extra feet I believe and also a tool for holding the propeller shaft while you remove the props themselves it says don't touch the motors after you've been flying otherwise it may cause a problem as far as burning your hand see the red hand just the job next thing here is your instructions and also if you're not from if you happen to be from china it also has instructions in chinese too i don't i would guess that was probably what mandarin I guess and this just tells you what the layout is of the drone tells you what the different controls are and what also comes with is this little slip of paper here to let you download your app or it turns out that it is the FHD FPV which is the exact same app as the E68 drone so I suspect these might be made by the same company and I suspect they may have the same innards. The only difference being the exterior shape. So you can tell it's got the uh, hand gestures, control with the gestures here also. It has it in English as well. All right, so what's next? Well, I say what is next is to get this guy set up. 
and take it out for a nice flight. <laughs> Good morning, it's a beautiful day here. We're going to try and fly the nimble drone and get this thing up and give you uh, an example of how it performs in the air. It's more like a racing drone than a video drone, obviously. Here to the video recorder. There you go, count down, start now. Three, two, one. Good, that's recording everything that is on the phone here. Next thing to do is to click in battery turn on drone yep it's flashing there the little lights are flashing underneath next thing to do is turn on the controller there we go looks like we're bound there I'm not going to do the two to the right because that seems to st uh, stop things a bit so the next thing to do is go to settings you got your connections here Got your Wi-Fi, and we're looking for networks. That's it there. K Y four K. Click on that. that. Looks good. It's connecting up. Hopefully. Okay, that's on. Next thing to do is to open up the app, which is the FHD FPV. That's it, play. Right, so as you can see, it's the image from the camera is being transferred through. Now the next thing I'm going to do is turn, give it a calibration there by hitting that little uh, gyroscope thing there. Now I'm going to turn the speed up to 60%, 100%, sorry. I want to go 100% there. And 100 percent there that's the speed control that that can you know, adjust the speed and that one does too i'm putting them both on the same thing uh, next what we're going to do is to record on the camera of the drone and we'll see how that works are you ready little drone yes oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing to do is to do some trimming Oh yes, looking good there, looking good. So that was my final test of this little R11 drone. That's a great little drone. It goes pretty fast. I would say it's a fast drone. Um, but it sometimes wants to get away, you know. It, I don't know why. But it's a toy grade drone and let's not expect too much from it. Let's see if I can fly it up this uh, little road here. I'm going to record it, I'm just going to... There you go. There we are. See, it, it flies pretty good, you know. Nice. For a toy drone, it's fallen its position good, but look what's happening now. A 
but then decides to wander. <laughs> Are you done wandering? <laughs> Problem. Seems like it wants to. <laughs> once again, once again, it's it's flying all right. And it landed. Good job, little nimble. And it is nimble. That's a good name for it. 